while we are all gorging on turkeys and enjoying big meals today, I'm here with Paul Morello. And the reality of the situation is, Paul, that not a lot of I mean, there's still a ton of people out there that are going to be hungry today and every day of the year. Yeah, you know, it's a real struggle, especially when you're talking during the holidays. People who are low income, you know, you and I and many people just assume that we're going to have a turkey, we're going to have the stuffing, we're going to have all of those holiday uh, items, those holiday meals. But the reality is for thousands of our neighbors, people are waking up this morning not knowing if they're going to be able to have that holiday meal. And it's really a challenge. Each year, the Food Depository serves more than 812,000 and individuals, one in six people in our community. And when you're talking about gross tonnage of food, I mean, how many, I mean, it's thousands and thousands of meals a day. Yeah, you know, actually just from, from where we're standing right now, the Food Depository distributes about 200,000 pounds of food per day. Each year, we're at about 71 million pounds of food out in Cook County. You know, I've heard those stats from you before, but I've actually never been in the warehouse. It is a giant space. And look at all the food that you guys hear on the shelves and you guys will be distributing, of course. And it's almost, it's, it's, it's shocking how much there is, but still sad that, of course, there's still help that needs to be done. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the size of the warehouse really speaks to the need in our community. You know, we see so many people that are struggling, not only during the holidays, but throughout the entire year. It's people who have jobs, it's people who have families, people who are doing everything right, but are just still having trouble making ends meet. All right, we should make this known. We're going home to our families after the show here this morning. A lot of people choose to try and volunteer. They call today for Thanksgiving. They want to be in the holiday spirit, but you don't need volunteers today, but you need them many other days of the year. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the best thing to do if you want to volunteer, go to our website, chicagosfoodbank.org. You can find our volunteer calendar. You can also make a donation on the website as well. Let's talk a little bit because you're going to start seeing bins in some of the downtown Chicago buildings for the holiday season. Really quickly run through some of the things that people can donate. Yeah, some important Important things to donate. We need mixed vegetables, you know, uh, canned fruit, canned veggies. Um, when you're talking tuna is an important one as well. Um, we have some soup here, so soups are very important. Shelf stable items is what we're looking for. Peanut butter yeah. as well. Yeah, we have some peanut butter here. And what's interesting is these are actually all food drive donations. So this order is going to be going out probably Monday morning to an agency in our community. And this food's going to be um, on the plates of hungry people very, very soon. So money helps. Go online right now. If you're in that volunteer spirit, go online, sign up for another day, give some money or get ready. Start stocking up on these items because it always is nice to give something tangible that you know you're giving to someone else that's going to help them. Yeah, exactly. And it makes so much of a difference. I am going to fill you in on all the great things you can do here today. I've got my beer it on, which means I'm going to be dealing with some food, some fresh produce that we're doing today. And we got the volunteers here. Volunteering is a great way to give back. One bit of warning, though. Everyone here is going to be gone soon. We're all going to be enjoying our Thanksgivings. But you can go to the website and find other times to volunteer. Kim, you like volunteering? I love it. I absolutely love it. What, 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 what about it do you love? Just the opportunity to give back to any and everyone that isn't as fortunate as you are. You know, sometimes you don't really think about all the blessings that you have. Yeah. And so any opportunity to kind of share that with someone else is... Especially around the holidays. Absolutely. Exactly. All right, Carrie, you've been dumping some butternut squash. What are we looking for here? What's the bad stuff? What's the good ones? So we got to look for some mold and anything that's cut open that people can't like exactly that's a, that's like a no that. Good one. No good. But like, look at look at this one. This is a little that's, cute one. It's adorable. This is this adorable is a little baby one. butternut squash. <laughs> We're gonna take that one, guys. And why do you love volunteering? I like giving back and doing something different with my day and helping out people who are not as fortunate as I am. I gotta say, this butternut squash pile was this high like we ten minutes. Through ago. This. You guys got all the way through. You guys do some great work. It's an exciting atmosphere to be here. The music's playing. Everyone's having a good time. Yeah, absolutely. And we put our volunteers to work, too. So they're not standing around. They are getting a lot of product moved into these boxes. I'm not messing them up too much, am I? Oh, no, no. You're <laughs> contributing to the atmosphere. I got to say, though, when I think about food, when I think about giving food for food drives, I think about canned goods, and we'll talk about those in a second. But we're obviously looking at butternut squash here. You guys do a lot with the uh, with produce. When you're talking about produce, though, yeah. Food Depository distributes about 27 million pounds of produce last year. So an important part of what we do. And because you want people, you don't want to just give them food. I mean, you, you want to have the proteins, but you got to have the produce too for a healthy meal. Yeah, it's all part of having a nutritious meal. We want to make sure that we are getting food out to the community and making sure that food is as healthy as possible. And thank you so much for having us here today. And thank you so much for and, being here, John. And a happy Thanksgiving. Guys, what a wonderful way to give back to the community. Do it if you can. Back to you all in the studio.